What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to prove proposition number 3. Proposition number 3 says negative x times negative y is equal to xy. Now here first we are going to use the proposition number 1. I made a video on that too and also I am going to use list of axioms to prove this one. You can watch the list of axioms in a video. I put the link of the video in the description. You can watch that too. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And here first uh, we are going to use proposition number one. Proposition number one says negative x times zero. Negative x times zero is equal to zero. And then by additive inverse we can write this one as negative x negative y plus y that's equal to zero. Here we are using additive inverse. Additive inverse. The next thing is we are going to use the distributive law. This by distributive law we can write this one as negative x negative y plus negative x times y that's equal to zero by distributive law okay i'm moving one step further by distributive law we just multiply first so this is going to be negative x times negative y here this is negative x times y negative x times y that's equal to zero. So this is distributive law. Distributive law. The next thing is we are going to use the proposition number two. In proposition proposition number two says that when we have negative x plus negative y, and actually multiply by negative y plus negative xy, that's equivalent to zero by proposition number two and the next thing is we can expand this one and write it as negative xy negative x negative y plus negative xy and we are going to just add xy to both side xy is equal to zero plus xy Okay, the next thing is we are going to use the associative law. By associative law, we can write this one as negative x times negative y plus negative xy plus xy that is equal to xy. Here, this is associative, associative, and this one is identity. identity when you add 0 plus xy 0 can be eliminated that's identity now let's go ahead and continue and then here we can use the additive inverse additive inverse says plus x actually minus x times minus y and when you add these two together that's going to be 0 that's equal to xy here we applied additive inverse inverse and finally we will derive identity derive this one by identity minus x times minus y is equal to xy by identity and identity and that's what we finally want to end up with right minus x times minus y is equal to xy so here we are using bunch of axioms if you want to know what are these axioms what does this mean i made a separate separate video on that i put the link of the video in the description so you can go ahead and watch them and uh, that's it and if you are trying to learn discrete mathematics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time